to let's say Maratha Halli. Okay, will it work? See, did not work. The reason being address is the object again. Correct. So you cannot update the address itself because address itself you cannot add a value. Address dot first line you can add. So what we'll do? Let us spread the address. Fine. Huh? User details dot address. In that I am adding first line as Marathali. Okay. So now hello all. Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. My name is Vasant. I hope you all doing well. In case if you are seeing me first time on the internet, I'm a content creator. I help people to clear their interview. I also make lot of videos about the interview preparation, career coaching, etc., which has helped again lot of candidates to clear their interview. In case if you are still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the like video for this video. Now, without wasting further time, let's get started with the topic of the day. That is manipulating objects in React JS and React Native. Okay, so or updating the states of the object in react native and react js so i am going to explain it to react js but the process remains fairly straightforward for the react native also see it is uh, whenever we are updating the states of a primitive type for example variable x and you want to change the value of that it's fairly straightforward process but whenever you want to modify or update an object and an array in the react it is not that straightforward okay lot of people get confused so i'm going to explain all the different kind of variations of the objects and how to update that step by step in this video and i also take you through a official documentation of the react where this is very clearly explained okay so you actually don't need a video but some people will not understand the documentation very clearly so i'm explaining okay so i'll also take you to the documentation so that you have a crystal clear understanding about the object manipulation so this video may last for maximum 7 to 8 minutes so please watch the video till the end so which will ensure next time whenever you're modifying an object you don't have to watch any other video okay say i'm already running an application here so application has nothing just the hello world okay now let me create a state okay const x then set x is equals to use state okay use state where i'm initializing the value of 10 okay so what i'm doing here is in the hello world i'll just replace this with value of x is okay what i'll do is i'll just give the x okay then i'll create a small function like constant update x or add 10 to x okay which basically means add 10 10 to the value of x okay so what i do is set x as x plus 10 i think all of you know this i'm just setting it for some some basic context okay then we have a button so where on click of button you i'm invoking add 10x okay add 10 to x i'm invoking okay then here in the button like i'll just give a name as update okay as i have to enclose it in a component i'm doing this okay so it's very very straightforward as you can see value of x is whatever the value of x whenever you click on add 10 to x it'll get updated and we'll show you the update value of x very straightforward let's go back on screen and see so value of x is 10 if i click on update it's becoming 20 30 40 50 very straightforward nothing fancier okay as you all know the value of x is immutable okay what is mutable and immutable in very simple words mutability is nothing but a value can be changed or not okay so basically the primitive types in javascript like a uh, string number uh, boolean etc they are all primitive types so in a given memory location you can hold only one value so x can be 10 then x becomes 30 okay so that memory location cannot hold both uh, both uh, 10 and 20 only one can be hold whereas object types are mutable in javascript so primitive types are immutable object types are mutable that means in the same memory location you can update the value let me let me tell you how to do that okay so for example you have something called constant user info okay which is equals to like uh, first name first name is uncommon okay second name is or last name is geeks let me do some marketing also my channel name uncommon geeks again if you're not subscribed please subscribe okay I am setting uh, creating an object user details then set user details okay which is is equals to use state of user info okay very straightforward you all know nothing fancy here I create an object called user info and as I need to user details okay now what I'm gonna do is 
I will just I'll remove this. This as you know is very straightforward. Again, I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay. So what I'll do here is um, user first name is first name is user info user I'm sorry user details dot first name. Okay. Then user last name is user details dot last name. Okay. Actually, I have made one small mistake here uh, in general. Never just write dot after first name, dot first name, dot last name. Always have a habit of writing this question mark. Okay. So if this object is undefined, then the second portion you will not have any problem. Okay. So have a habit of doing that. In this case, it's fine because it's locally defined variable. But sometimes you would get data from the web or, or API. That time this will fail. Okay. If uh, user details is empty. There are different ways to handle. But one way is always make sure you put a question mark. Now, const update user details okay so now what i'll do here is so what i'll be doing is again i have a button on click of which i'll call this button have a title of update on click on click okay i'm calling update user details i'm calling update user details so what i have to do is i already have user details dot first name is equals to I'll set it to wasn't okay you know I already know the object so it's as it's mutable I can easily mute it now I mean I can easily change the value whereas X I was supposed to use the set text only I cannot change without that okay let's go back to screen and see so first name is uncommon uh, question mark is not looking good let's replace that with uh, colon okay first name is uncommon second name is geeks whenever I click on update array are nothing is happening why nothing is happening uh, whenever I click on update what I'm supposed to do is I am updating user details dot first name but it is not becoming wasn't I did not I did the mistake intentionally don't worry see like I mentioned objects are mutable okay but problem here is this object or whatever the value already uh, whatever was there that is already rendered on the screen you just updating the value of object will not create a re-rendering okay if you have to re-render then you have to use the set state okay only set state can re-render the react component okay it's like you have ordered a food uh, you have you have completed eating the food and then you're trying to order again okay so now let me simply show you how you can do it so there are multiple ways to do this I'll, i'm going to show you the most simplest way of modifying an object okay let's do like set user details okay then what you will do here do is you will just take a copy of the entire object spread operator you know as it is you're taking a copy then what you're doing is first name is equals to you're setting it to wasn't okay so what you did here is you use the set set user details function you took the object as it is then you updated the first name from whatever it is to the next one so remaining values in the object that is last name remain as it is no change to that let's go back refresh uncommon is there update wasn't is updated geeks is not updated okay that's how it will be done very very straightforward and very very easy so another thing that you have to observe carefully is let's say i will nest the object now okay first name last name and address okay address i have first line first line of address basically okay then second line of address okay so as all of you know uh, at least most of you know i stay in bengaluru okay so where let me add like second line as Bengaluru first line as like Bengaluru maybe I'll just mention some random area that is Hebal okay so now what I'll do I'll let me add the address here okay address line 1 address line 1 is user details dot address dot first line okay then i have like address line 2 which is equals to second line fine let me go back all information are shown here now whenever i click on update let's say you updated the first name let's not touch the first name now let's only decide to update the address okay address i'm changing from hebal to let's say maratha halli okay will it work see did not work the reason being address is the object again correct so you cannot update the address itself because address itself you cannot add a value address dot first line you can add so what we'll do let us spread the address fine huh? user details dot address in that i'm adding first line as marathali okay 
So now you just spread the user details dot address and the first line was hebball and you opting to update it to Marathalu. Refreshing, update, everything is gone. Okay, even this is a mistake, not done like by miss, but, but done very cautiously so that you don't make this mistake. Okay, see basically you are trying to spread user details dot address this particular object and you're trying to update the first line and the remaining things whatever you are doing that is everything is actually the entire object value itself is getting lost so what is the right way to do so spread the user details so now you have user info and inside this you will again spread address okay you will again spread user details dot address okay then inside this okay user details dot address you will spread again okay and inside that you are going to change the first line to something else like i said maratha hali okay now if i go back to screen see only the that particular thing got updated let me walk you through again what i did so i first took a spread the user details so everything inside user details was copied okay then i decided to update only the address part okay so inside address again i'm spreading just the address part user details dot address then i'm changing the only the first line okay so i modified technically the only the first line in the entire thing so wasn't this seems very clumsy there are so many things that you did is there a simple workaround if the object length is very small okay then what you can do is you can actually make a copy of the object like const copy copy user details okay is equals to um, you can assign it to user details okay whatever the value you can assign okay then what you can do is so generally as sometimes the references remain as it is you can use something clone deep or you can also use this hack of json.parse and json.stringify what happens otherwise is so the user details will copy user details and user details will point to the same memory locations to avoid that we are doing this okay then you can do what you can do is copy user details dot address dot first line is equals to marathalli okay marathalli if you are someone from marathalli from bangalore please comment or if you're from hebal also please mention that in the comment section okay then you just update this with the this value copy user details okay let me refresh hebal update marathalli okay so very straightforward process Personally, I like the second approach than the first approach because that looks a little clumsy for me. But again, always you cannot do this because if so there's times when object length will be very big. Okay, in such scenarios, copying again adds a additional additional space consumption. Okay, but for simple objects like this, this is the best approach that I would recommend. Okay, now once the objects are done, deeply nested object also I have understood. Now can you speak something about the array? Since we have already crossed around twelve minutes, I am not going to explain about the array in this video. Please mention in the comment section you want a separate video on that. But here is the link where you can get a complete understanding about how to modify the array in in the array and array of object in React JS. But it's almost straightforward, like the way I mentioned about the uh, objects. Only difference here is they would use the array operations for modifying the array. One last question before signing off: There are no nested objects in JavaScript. Okay. So though on the screen you would see a nested object while processing, there are no nested objects in JavaScript. So it is clearly explained in one of these links. I'm going to attach the link in the description section. Please read and comment why there are no nested objects in JavaScript. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, uncommon geeks, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video, comment about the video, whatever you you whatever you felt. Share with your friends so that they also get benefited. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in next video.